Thanks, Shinny and Sean. I'm here at the Bangor Auditorium where we've got the, uh, yeah, 2007 World Series trophy of the Boston Red Sox. They won it last year. Wait, who made a prediction? Who what? Let's take a look back at Blackbird Nation episode two of 2006. Old school. Take a look. There's only 38 days until opening day, and I'm wearing my baseball tie and bought my victory cigar. Let's not let the stinking Blue Jays beat us again in the standings this year. Well, that certain reporter there, he really had his stuff together. He knows what's going on. No Blue Jays up in that piece. Before arriving in Bangor, the trophy was displayed at Alfond Arena, where fans could get their picture taken with the shiny flags. The line of fans stretched all the way around the ice, signifying the presence of Red Sox Nation on campus and around Orno. Certainly is a picturesque moment standing behind the beautiful World Series trophy. That'll make a great Facebook picture for sure. There's also a certain broadcaster here at the Bangor Auditorium. His name is Joe Stiglione. He calls the games for Red Sox. Mr. Ben Lankhorst and I sat down and had a little chat with the man, the myth, the legend of Red Sox radio. Well, I've had a lot of fun uh, last year with Glenn Gaffney, who's now leaving to go to the Marlins. And uh, Dave O'Brien, who's a great broadcaster uh, with ESPN. And, uh, he'll be doing more games this year, 130 or so. And we had a great 14 years with Troop. We miss him. But uh, you know, one thing about broadcasting, the only constant is it changes. And uh, I've been blessed now to begin my 26th year, uh, which is certainly rare. And I see that... Uh, a lot of places we go, but it's more the exception than the rule, certainly. Well, we see a lot of Maine people, State of Maine Day, uh, when the governor comes, but we see more of the, the average fan, too, uh, and we see them when we come up here, which is great uh, to be able to mingle with them. Uh, to me, the Maine fans are always so positive, win or lose. Uh, they're uh, a little more uh, positive than... Boston area fans, I think, uh, when things aren't going so well. <laughs> Baseball's number one. Uh, it's America's pastime. To me, it's the greatest game out there. Uh, it's an everyday game, too. And to me, it's the game people can most readily identify with because of the size of the players. And uh, although <laughs> the last few years, there have been some questions about the size of the players. What do you think of Terry Francona? He's 8 0 in the World Series. He's perfect. Terry's a great manager because he knows how to get the most out of his players. Uh, I think, as far as strategy goes, most managers are on the same level. Uh, there are only so many things you can do, but it's how you deal with people. And he has great people skills. He knows how to handle stars, he knows how to handle stars that are not easy uh, to handle and uh, he can relate with a player who doesn't play every day because he was one of them. He has great empathy, um, and he doesn't take credit. I mean, when both times he won the World Series, he wasn't the first one out of the field. He stayed back, let the players celebrate, and that's part of his persona. Well, it's always special when you get homegrown players. Uh, when people come up to your farm system, I mean, I always felt kinship with those guys because I've been with the Red Sox so long. When they come up to the system, you follow them when they're at Gulf Coast League and Lowell and at A-Ball and at Portland and then at Pawtucket. And you feel that uh, kinship with them. Uh, but it really is special. And uh, the scouts have done a great job, as they really have since 1967. The Red Sox have had uh, a contender almost every year since then. So. They've got to credit uh, the scouts, the unsung heroes of the game. It was just uh, a magical season because it was all about being the best team in baseball. Um, who are you going to call when you're going to one 800 54 giant <laughs> All right, here, Bangor Artillery. I'm David Nixon. Ben's going to go back up the truck. We're going to load this thing up, get the garbage bags, get the masks, and we're going to be champions. Uh -huh.